All right, back at it. The last bit of sculpting on this piece for the night.
All right, I took off too much clay, so I'm throwing it into a plastic bag, wetting some of it. Oh, and yesterday I had said that I completed the last of my 25, uh, what was left of my 25 pound bag of clay. That was wrong. I've still got a good little amount left, enough to make two of these wise ones before I end up dipping into the new clay. So I'm really happy about that because you do not like to see your clay whittle down to nothing. Trust me on that. That's the worst feeling in the world, especially when times are tight, because it's just like, ugh, how am I gonna gather up the money to get some more? But you know, when it's something that you love, and you want it, and you believe in it, and you think it's gonna make a difference in your world and others, you find a way. You just make it happen somehow, even when you think you can't. So yeah, I've still got plenty of clay right now, but I do want to get into doing some larger sculptures. I do want to return to that to work on them simultaneously, some of the small pieces, some of the large pieces. So this piece has to be cleaned up considerably, but this is another one of the wise ones. It's coming along. I'm going to do a lot of beading work around her neck and um, possibly a few conch shells that will be placed onto her wick locks. So I'm sort of excited about doing that. I like doing conch shells. I don't know that I necessarily do them well, but they look, they look good enough, the few that I have attempted. So there's probably going to be like a big one in the center of here, some, you know, adornment around this neck area, and a few strategically placed conch shells here. I'm probably going to texturize these wick locks just a bit. Um, not very much, because that can be whew, a lot to glaze, but um, I'm definitely going to texturize some. And she needs a little more meat on her forehead. It looks like one of those cartoons where she got smacked with a skillet and it just stayed there. So let me press that in right now. I'm getting a little anxious because I have not heard from my son yet. He went to his second acting class and he Ubers everywhere, so I'm going to have to stop this video anyway, just so I can check my messages because I texted him and asked, was everything good? And then I started recording, so I'd just like to make sure that I got that reply from him. And then I'm going to come back, do a little work on the eyes, and then it is time for me to go to bed because I feel myself getting sleepy, so... And there's no need to stop because my boy, baby is walking through the door. Yay. Hey, baby. How are you? Yeah, how was class? Oh, that's great. I'm recording right now, but I'll be done and I'll talk with you soon, okay? I love you too. Oh. He's outside. I made a mistake and locked him out. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I didn't even realize it. I fell into a zone and I never looked up again. So, Sorry, nighttime. Okay, so that is where I've stopped with her, and tomorrow, probably at lunchtime, or, um, yeah, I don't know. Hell, possibly now, because I don't, I don't feel like stopping this just yet. So, you know, let's ball out for a minute.
take some of this really, really smelly slip. Oh my God, you guys, if you knew what this smelled like, you'd be appalled, but it's bad. It's really, really bad. I literally have to hold my breath while the jar is open. It's pretty much fine once it's applied, but woohoo. If you mess around and put your nose right up over that jar, it's <laughs> all sing septic. Yeah, it's bad, trust me. Let's see if I can tilt this safely. All right, so I'm gonna stop right there because I'm tired. I know I've only got like one more bead placement, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like doing that one last little thing, so I am going to um, call it a night. So, you can see what she's starting to become. This is another wise one. Did an interesting little lashes treatment on her eyes with this sort of um, wire broomstick tool. It has bristles on it. So, I'm adding the beading of her necklace. This is what she's looking like so far. And I want her to stay pretty pliable. And I sprayed a lot of water, you know, because I was we were watching me smoothing out some areas and brushing it. But I'm still going to spray, like, just a little more water. This area of her cheek, this side, is more narrow. So let me fix that. All right. So that's what we're looking at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and spray her with water. I'm going to tint her with, um, you know, a plastic bag so that she can stay overnight because tomorrow I'll come in and, um work on the wick locks a bit. There are just two, one that goes this way and one that connects that way. And I'm gonna add some texture to it and um, then I'll start to get back to work. This cheek is not right, it's bugging me. It is bugging me, this one's not as full. And that's because I'm not looking down at it from all angles yet. I'm gonna have to examine this, you know, from other angles before I start adding real details to make sure that she's not super wopsided and, and wonky. I get um, a slightly different vantage point when I'm looking, when I look into the camera and turn it around, that helps a lot too, because you start to notice things that you um you didn't notice before. So that's always dope. So I'm just working this clay in while it's still wet, doing a little bit of smoothing right there. That helped it a little bit, just a little bit. All right, so we are calling it at one hour and nine minutes which was shit, practically a marathon session for me because normally 45 minutes and I'm out, but um, I'm not this time. So let me find a bag to touch her with. I'm not really gonna clean up this table. I'm breaking my vow, but it's all right. I will get back to it, I promise you. But this is the wise one number three. I'm, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. I'm feeling a little uncertain about her balance. So let me just tap on that right now and fix that up. And I'm just pushing some clay down on another side to move it into an area I need to move it in so it's gonna be sturdier. I feel like she was leaning a little bit off to my left. So the clay is still very soft and pliable. So luckily that's a very easy fix. And like I said, just even turning it around like this so you guys can see it, it helps me um, you know, see areas that I'm missing. There's a nice little chunk in there that needs to be filled in with some more clay. 
I, I love these pieces, y'all. They're just, they're archaeological and they're ancient and they're ancestral and they're regal and they're godlike and they're us like and they're us and they are we and we are them. And I, um, yeah, I'm going to do a lot in this series and, you know, just do some more, even more stylized ones, some crazy things with the hair. Um, don't know why I'm stuck on wick locks for these, but I am. So that's just what it is. And, you know, another day, it'll be something else. So that's how freestyling creativity gets. You just go with the flow and see what's up. Spritz, 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 spritz. Now I'm going to take and tuck this plastic bag under just because I want all that condensation to stay in there. I want this piece to remain very, very pliable. So I'm just stretching out the bag, tucking it underneath because this is an AC environment and this will dry out. All right, love y'all, peace.